Hi everybody, um, hope you guys are having a good, uh, good Sunday today. Um, I've been receiving a lot of questions about um, uh, finding and selecting the, the best uh, pools to, um, to provide liquidity in Uniswap. Perhaps <clears throat> you already have some uh, Uniswap investment you want to diversify or uh, to, to, uh, to find new pools or, or you, you're, perhaps you're new to Uniswap and uh, um, want to, to understand where to, uh, where to start. Uh, in Uniswap, there are different uh, liquidity pools. Um, so you, you invest, let's say you provide liquidity by uh, supplying a mix of Ethereum and a UR, uh, ERC-20 token uh, into a pool and by that enabling uh, transactions and, and, and exchanges to take place in exchange of a fee. So I want to, uh, I want to spend some time taking you through uh, this selection process with the help of, uh, of the tool like whatever, UniswapRI.com which is a RI calculator and uh, um, as well as like um, a pool comparison tool uh, for your um, your investment uh, evaluation of of Uniswap. So uh, first, I mean, if you if you haven't uh, used the tool before, uh, the link will be was in the description by essentially UniswapRI.com, uh, and then you you can log in. You can create a quickly create an account, and then you it's free. You can log in. Now, from the main page, you can go into the pools page, and uh, from here, you'll be able to see a selection of the uh, a ranking of the highest yielding pools in Uniswap. There is a it's, it, you will find these information buttons. Essentially, uh, the the way the pools are presented in this page. Uh, first off, the, the page presents the, uh, not much the historical yield of the pool, but more a forecast of their over the next 30 days, and um, a based and then like the, in, within the table you'll find only the pools that are currently have a minimum capitalization of 50 ether, and where the variation that is expected in the next 30 days is between uh, like a range of confidence, like minus 50 percent plus 150 percent, because uh, as we'll see, um, the, the the yield of the pools is something that is variable. It can change um, sort of uh, all the time. And so when we go, when the system goes and um, essentially make the forecast, the projection, uh, we, it doesn't present the pools where the, proje the projection is either less than 50% or plus than 150% because probably there is a very vol you know high volatility in that pool and so the the confidence of the projection is uh, is very questionable so as of, as always you know take this projection with a pinch of salt i mean this is an indication and then obviously you know once you um, you want to provide liquidity into a pool you'll need to to track your DRI maybe not whatever every day or every few days in order to optimize your your position, but let's uh, let's start by understanding like what what this page displays. Uh, there is first off the liquidity pool, and here you find the selection of a few liquidity pool. Each one is, for example, the first is in this case Ethereum Maker, Ethereum Wrap Bitcoin, Ethereum Dai, and so on and so forth. Then you'll see here what's the current liquidity in the pool. And this gives you an idea, not much of the yield, but more of the uh, um, let's say li liquidity and therefore the uh, uh, size of, uh, of of the pool and uh, and also uh, I mean the capitalization if you want of the pool. Uh, so um, we we don't as as we said like the tool doesn't show pools with a capitalization of less than fifty ether to give you some you know maneuvering room and and make sure it's uh, um, it, it's it, it gives a little more stability. Let's say. Then uh, there are two components, and these are actually the two components that at the end sum to be the Uniswap RI. These are project the projection over the next 30 days. I'll show you how the projection is made. And then once we have the Uniswap RI, then this is itself is projected over, you know, extended over the period of a year to give you the APR, uh, which is the uh, annual percentage return. And that's again, it's an expected, uh, and, and the, the reason to present the APR over, you know, extending the forecast of 30 days is more for your, uh, you know, e e comparison and, and, and ease, of, uh, ease of comparison since everything in DeFi seems to be expressed as, as an APR. So the two components are the fees and the impermanent loss. And you'll see here a little, whatever, information button 
where where you see um, a little more in terms of how these components are calculated. But uh, the return of Uniswap comes from two components. This essentially, actually, essentially comes from the fees. So you'll provide liquidity on the other side of the exchange. There will be people um, swapping tokens, so coming with Ether and getting, for example, Maker or vice versa, wanted to to sell in Maker to get Ether. And each time there is a swap, the user pays 0.25% in fees to the exchange. And those fees are, are then uh, collected by the liquidity providers. So <clears throat> uh, this is the first component. Second component is the impermanent loss. Now, impermanent loss is quite an interesting concept. It's just um, built in, in a way, in the mechanism of, of uh, in the way the Uniswap works. There is, I made an in-depth video explaining you what this impermanent loss is, how it works, why it's there. And so perhaps you can check that video, you can search for Uniswap impermanent loss, you'll find a, a deep dive in terms of what it is. And, and then the sum of these two, so for example, for Maker, we have expected fees of 2.97% over the next 30 days, plus a 0 .0, minus 0.04% in terms of impermanent loss, which gives us 2.92% percent expected over the next 30 days. Now, as a rule of thumb, I mean, these are a forecast, so you, you, you should take them with a pinch of salt, but, but also in terms of like when you see the impermanent loss here, which is expected, is always, is typically, let's say, order of magnitude less compared to, to the fees. It, this is not the rule, but in, in, the, in a market condition where the price doesn't change dramatically, um, the impermanent loss is not is not that um, um, necessarily that that, that uh, meaningful and, and that sizable. Um, but I, I uh, um, whatever I'll uh, recommend you to if you want to know more how you know what this is and how it works to check out the uh, the in depth video. Now, in terms of like where this number come from. Um, you should know that first, I mean, within the tool, you can click and you can get like in-depth forecast details uh, of, of the in-depth in uh, understanding of how the forecast is made. But essentially, uh, the uh, Uniswap uh, returns depend on, on, on three um, things. And uh, obviously, you know, when making the forecast, the, system, the, the, uh, the, the tool accounts for the variation of these three uh, parameters. So first is the pool size. Um, and why is because um, you will contribute to a pool and you get like, um, you know, in order to, to remunerate your contribution, you'll get fees back in, in the proportion of your ownership of the pool. So for example, if you invest, um, let's say $100 worth of uh, tokens and ether into a, a big pool, you, your percentage ownership is smaller compare if you invest $100 uh, worth of Ether and token into a small pool where you own more. And this is, uh, percentage-wise, doesn't make a lot of a difference, but in terms of making a projection, this, for example, what we see here for this pool is that the size of the pool is pretty stable. It actually is slightly, has been slightly increasing. You can see here the numbers for 30 days ago, so basically an average of the month, an average of two weeks ago, an average of the last week, and today. So you see here, except this value here, but from 20, 18, 21, 25. So it looks like it's going to be on, on the, uh, you know, increasing in terms of size of the pool. And the, the assumed value for the forecast in 30 days is actually 28. So the tool is actually extends and projects this number out. Um, so the pool size is the one factor. The other factor is the volume um, that is exchanged for that <clears throat> uh, for this uh, pair, right? Ethereum Maker. And again, the tool looks at the volume, the evolution of volume. So in this case, again, it's it's picking up. So about six thousand thirty days ago, two weeks ago, seven thousand. One week ago, n more than nine thousand. So the tool actually projects this out and assume that in thirty days, further projection will be thirteen thousand. And then the, the exchange of the price. Now, the exchange of the price is the main driver of the impermanent loss. So you ideally want to invest in a pool where the um, uh, ratio, let's say the, the ratio between the price of the, the token and the Ethereum is pretty stable. Um, and it doesn't change too dramatically. So in this case, is is actually pretty stable. 0 0.28, 0 0.28, 0 0.27, 0 0.29. The two actually assume a, a little variation of 0 
to be 0.31 in 30 days, but, but essentially this is you know pretty stable. So now, given this evolution of these three parameters, the tool um, it calculates what will the price ratio would be, and, and this is uh, whatever, this the variation of 6% that we've seen here, it, this variation determines an impermanent loss which is pretty negligible, is about only 0.04%, uh, the, the fees that will be um, uh, accumulated over the, the 30 days, this will be um, essentially um, determined by the volume, right? So these are function of the volume. And then the yield, the yield is in function of the volume and the size of the pool. So that's how, that's how the, the projection is made. And then, you know, you subtract from the fees, you subtract the, the expected impermanent loss and you get 2.92%. Um, obviously, I mean, these are, uh, as I mentioned, these are numbers that are changing um, over time. And so it's, it's worth, um, I, I would suggest doing two things. So, so when you are selecting your monitor in the market, coming here, uh, and, and plus there are also other tools that gives you information about the pools, plus also uh, it is, I, I plan to work on this and expand and, and give you a little more also history of the pool. But for now, even coming here or to, to some other tools to, to monitor how the yield is, is uh, going from a macro perspective, that's, that's already uh, pretty useful. The other thing you, you, will be, um, you, you can do that's actually interesting is also monitor your investment. So once you actually provide liquidity to a pool, you'll be able to track your investment uh, with, with the Uniswap RI and then also see visually uh, in a chart, what what is the um, how is your you know your the value of your Uniswap investment is, is going, and then more specifically, what's the contribution of Uniswap, um, for example, in this case or, uh, and over time, and you'll be able to see it even you know in US dollars or in Ethereum, uh, depending you know if you're particularly long on Ethereum or or you want to see a return in, in USD. So um, again, like on this and more on the usage of the tool, you'll find other videos if you are interested. And uh, yeah, so for now, I hope uh, you know I given you a little background on in terms of uh, the pool selection and how the returns are calculated and displays, displayed in the tool. If you have any question, feel free to reach out um, here and there in the, in the tool if you're using it. There are uh, sort of buttons to connect directly. And uh, if you want to have a, sort of follow-up conversation on this. So have a good one and uh, talk soon.